You may remember that 251. Now, the whole thing about this is you can't use these exact same notes. It's a relation. So when I use them, we want to go to the D sharp 9. I just did it over a B sharp 9. I want to go up a major third. So over the A half diminished, I really just went up a fourth. There's the fourth to D. And I played it over the sharp nine. We were really up just a minor third. Here's the major, here's the minor. So we want to go to the minor third, so let's do it here because we're in a different key. Here's the A half diminished. Again, we're up starting this lick the fourth above, which makes it the D. Now, we're not playing B sharp nine, we're playing D sharp nine sharp five. Same chord, just moved around on the keyboard. I said before when we did it over B, we're that minor third up. This lick, when you're on the sharp nine chord, doesn't matter if the five is sharped or not. It can be here, it doesn't change this lick. Remember we said we want to go up a minor third. Now, a minor third, this is the major third. We need the F, so let's start the lick. Instead of this one, which worked over B, we need to start on F and do the same thing. We're gonna go F, D, B flat, G flat, F. This is really similar to upper structure also if you wanna think about it that way. Over half diminished, remember we said you could use any of the augmented chords and how I touched on the fact that those are really all the same. As upper structure, well, this is where this lick comes from. We're just putting the D on, so you can think of it as G major. It's combining, and then there's that augmented chord as well. For sharp nine, I want a minor above from the D, which is F. There's that minor third above. Now I want to make a major triad. So there's B flat major, and then G flat. into the minor key, you can resolve it that way, and that works. Let's go ahead and look at this with a couple different rhythms, and always remember how you're gonna apply the lick and what you need to do to apply it. Let's look one more time. Those are the two different ones. So there's that one. That's the one with the C instead of using the B. Here's it with B over the sharp nine. That's very common. Guys, the lick comes from what? If you remember when we apply a melodic minor scale over a sharp nine chord, we're just going a half step up and playing melodic minor. Without harping on the fact, the melodic minor for D-sharp 9 is E-flat melodic minor. And it, all these notes come out of that scale. The other way to look at it, remember, over a sharp 9, the lick is really close to the voicing you're using. One of the voicings you're using in your left hand. The other voicing for that sharp 9 again was C, F, F-sharp, B-flat. It also has some of those top notes in it. 